All right, guys, the day has come. Molvad has finally removed port forwarding for its user base. Now, why exactly did it do this? Well, according to their blog post, it was because people were abusing the future and it sounds like Molvad didn't really have much way to combat it besides just turning it off. Now, in my opinion, if I were a paying customer of Molvad, which I'm not since I don't use it every day, um, but I do pay for it when I review it, I would be kind of pissed off about this. I would want uh, Molvad just to kick off the abusers from the network and then we get to keep the future. But I have a feeling due to Molvad's unique account creation system, that makes it much more difficult. Everyone on Molvad is just using random digits. Some people are just sending cash in envelopes, <laughs> although I don't think that many. So I could see why it might be very difficult for them to uh, kick off abusers. Now, this could create more problems down the road, uh, maybe legal issues or anything like that, or maybe even other features might have issues due to people uh, kind of abusing Molvad more as a service does grow. Now, one of the primary reasons this is a recommended VPN on uh, Reddit is because of its port forwarding capability. But I've told people for a long time that there are other VPNs that support port forwarding, and now people are probably going to migrate to those to maximize their torrent speeds. Not only that, but if you truly care about port forwarding, the reason you do is because you want to maximize speeds. Molvad has never really been the fastest VPN, and in fact, its server network is actually smaller than other ones out there. So that's why I'm still using TorGuard to this day. TorGuard supports port forwarding, gets better f speeds than Molvad, has a better server network, is cheaper long term, has a great Linux graphical in user interface, has SOX 5 capabilities, has V2 RAID support, which works in places like Iran. It really is quite good of a VPN. Um, you could use code TOMSPARK2023 to get it pretty much half as expensive as Molvad long term. You could get TorGuard for $70 for three years, while Molvad would be around uh, $180. So, yeah. Um, here's me configuring some of the ports. So, if you do want to configure port forwarding with TorGuard, this is how you would do it. You'd go into the account panel, and then you go to your services, and then you kind of manage it from there. Um, and then you could kind of customize the port and do whatever you want to port forward. So yeah, very easy and very user friendly, uh, great VPN. So if you're looking for a alternative to Molvad, this could be one of them. Now I even made a post on my new subreddit, which you might want to check out if you're a former Molvad user or you're looking for a unbiased subreddit to discuss VPNs, r slash r slash VPN comparison. I listed out some of the pros and cons of some of my top three alternatives, that being TorGuard, Hi.me, and Proton. Now, if you don't like TorGuard, you might like Hi.me or Proton. Hi.me is a little bit more on paper, uh, you know, transparent. It has some audits in the past. Um, here on the channel, I'm not a huge believer in some of these no log audits or whatever because I don't really think they're that great uh, for VPNs. They can uh, very easily start audit or logging after the term um, or just it's only on one server. There's a lot of issues and that's why I think being court proven, going to court to prove you're not going to give away user logs is more important, which TorGuard has done. We see Proton VPN as well. Uh, this is a good VPN that has port forwarding, on paper privacy with open source and audits. It's not quite as fast as TorGuard, but it's still a very good VPN. It's a little bit pricey, a little pricier than Molvad. Long term, it might be cheaper though, so keep that in mind. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this one, and I'll see you in the next video very soon.